podcast d'anglais en France et ses journées linguistiques. Anglais en France et FLE en France. find yourself thinking, man, I love living in France. What if I could share this amazing experience with someone? Well, today's deep dive might have the answer. We're diving into Anglais in France, AIF for short. They've caught our attention because it's not your typical language learning setup. Right. We're talking full immersion, living right in a French home with a family who speaks English. Exactly. <sighs> it's all about connecting native English speakers living in France with French people who want to up their English game. Okay. I'm already intrigued. So where does AIF fit into all of this? Think of them as a bridge or maybe a matchmaker. They find those English speakers who'd be great hosts and then carefully pair them with French learners. That pairing part sounds key. Do they just randomly throw people together? Or is there a method to the madness? Oh, there's a method for sure. They've got a pretty rigorous selection process to make sure it's a good fit for everyone. Rigorous. Now, I'm really curious. What are they looking for in a host family? Give us the inside scoop. First things first, you got to be a native English speaker. Makes sense, right? I mean, you're creating that immersive environment. And of course, it goes without saying, you've got to actually speak English at home regularly. It's about walking the walk, not just talking the talk. Exactly. But it's more than just that. They're also looking for people who are genuinely welcoming, passionate about sharing their culture, that kind of thing. So it's about more than just ticking the English spoken here box. Definitely. They're looking for genuine connection. And while they're open to different family structures, they do specifically mention that single men can't apply. Good to know they're upfront about that. Mm. I did see that they mentioned some specific qualifications, too. Do you have to have a teaching background to be a host? It's definitely a plus. Ideally, they're looking for folks with a TechFL, CELTA, a university degree, or a PGCE, but more than any piece of paper. It's about having the right personality. You got it. Compassionate, creative, a good communicator. Those are the things that really matter. Think about it this way. Imagine yourself at that age, eager to learn. Would I have enjoyed learning for me? Exactly. That's the key question. It's more about that genuine desire to make learning fun and engaging for the student. So you're off the hook for creating some rigid lesson plan from scratch. Exactly. AIF gives you support and resources, but you have the freedom to create lessons that work for you and the student. So it could be anything from exam prep to just chatting about everyday stuff. Pretty much. And speaking of everyday stuff, let's not forget the social aspect. Because who wants to be stuck inside studying when you're surrounded by the beauty of France? Right. And AIF gets that. Remember Teresa and David from those materials we saw? Taking students to explore castles, hitting up local markets. They're all about making that connection to real life. It sounds like they're living in a postcard. Those firsthand accounts were really something. What stood out to you? The joy, honestly. You can tell these hosts genuinely love what they're doing. And like Claire mentioned, seeing their students get more confident in English, that's the real reward, you know? It's like they're not just teaching a language. They're opening up a whole new world. But let's get practical for a sec. How much time does someone need to dedicate to being a host? That's the beauty of it. It's super flexible. You decide how many students you're up for hosting and for how long. Now, those homestays usually last one to two weeks. But there's wiggle room there. For sure. If everyone's on board, longer stays are definitely possible. Okay, let's talk about the elephant in the room money. We know hosts get paid, but what's the deal there? They don't get into specifics, but AIF is very clear that they value their hosts and make sure they're compensated fairly for their time and everything they do. That's good to hear. Now, they also mentioned something called a host family academy. What's that all about? Oh, it's like a support system, especially mm. for newbies. They've got this induction day where new hosts can connect with experienced AIF teachers, brainstorm lesson ideas, that kind of thing. Kind of like a crash course in hosting. You got it. And it doesn't stop there. They've got Jennifer, their educational guru, who sends out regular updates on any changes to the French curriculum or exams. No outdated textbooks here. So how does the whole matching process work? I mean, do they just randomly 
pair students with families? Oh, not at all. They put a lot of thought into it. A good match is super important. They want everyone to connect, you know, find some common ground. That makes a lot of sense. So how does it actually work? Well, first, they create this detailed profile for your family. Think hobbies, interests, even pictures of your home and the surrounding area. So potential students can get a feel for where they might be staying. Precisely. They try to match you with students who share similar interests, which just makes for a better experience for everyone. And get this, they only place one student with a family at a time. I like that. Quality over quantity. Exactly. And don't worry, they take privacy very seriously. Your profile is only shared with potential students, and they keep your address under wraps until everything is confirmed and paid for. That's reassuring. So say a student sees my profile and is interested in what happens next. They'll reach out to you directly. AIF will keep you in the loop the whole time, whether or not that student ends up choosing your family. You'll know the dates they're interested in and all that. Sounds pretty straightforward. Yeah. So once the student arrives, what does a typical day look like? So the student gets there, gets settled in. What then? Mm. Do most students come by train? Or is it a mix of things? It really varies. Some come by train, some fly in, others might drive if they're close enough. The main thing is everyone's on the same page about the arrival details. Makes sense. Now, we talked about those homestays usually being one to two weeks. Is that pretty standard? Yeah, one to two weeks is the norm. But like we said, it can be adjusted if you and the student are both happy with a different arrangement. And remember, it's not all about formal lessons either. Right. It's that whole immersion thing. Just soaking it all up naturally. You got it. Playing games, maybe doing some sports, going on outings, even just chatting over dinner. Those everyday things all add up to a really immersive experience. And let's not forget the food. Food brings people together like nothing else. Totally. Creating memories around the table. That's what it's all about. Uh. Speaking of memories, it sounds like some of these connections last well beyond the homestay. Some students even stay in touch with their host families afterwards. It's true. They might share updates on their English or even come back for another visit. It really speaks to how strong those bonds can become. That's a huge benefit for hosts, those lasting relationships. It's more than just a temporary thing. It sounds like it. Yeah. Okay, last but not least, let's talk money matters. We know hosts are compensated, but are we talking allowance or real compensation? Did the materials give any hints? They didn't get into specific numbers, but they made it clear that AIF values their hosts. They want to make sure you're properly paid for your time, effort, and everything you're doing. It's definitely a paying gig, which is always good, but as we've been saying, the rewards go beyond money. Absolutely. It's about the connections, the experiences, the feeling that you're making a difference. Exactly. The materials even said it's so much more than your average job. You're becoming part of this cultural exchange, building understanding between different communities. It's pretty special. Building bridges, one conversation at a time and sharing your love of your little corner of France. Right. You're not just teaching the language. You're sharing your life, your favorite places, your whole perspective on living in France as an English speaker, not something everyone gets to experience. So imagine someone's listening to us and they're thinking, this sounds incredible, but am I cut out for it? What would you say to them? I'd say go for it. If you're passionate about sharing your culture, if you love connecting with people from different walks of life, and if you're up for something truly unique, give it a shot. Hosting with Anglais in France might just surprise you. You never know what amazing experiences are waiting for now. I love that. That's a perfect place to wrap things up. This deep dive into Anglais in France has been eye-opening, to say the least. It's clear they're doing something really special, creating these amazing opportunities for a cultural exchange, personal growth, and those genuine lasting connections. If any of this resonated with you even a little bit, don't hesitate to reach out to Anglais in France. À suivre sur anglaisinfrance.fr